Hey sports fans, welcome to the Greg Medford Show. I'm your host, Greg Medford. Instead of being at the studio at the factory out in Phoenix, Arizona, we're here in Atlanta, Georgia at the Blade Show 2023. Uh, we've been uh, interviewing all kinds of people today uh, and yesterday from all over the country doing all kinds of things. And today, <laughs> we have a, a, a unique guest. This is <laughs> KJ Jones. She is, um, you know, mostly... All right, listen, we met, I was getting my toenails done, and she convinced me that uh, she knew some stuff about knives and she wanted to come to the show and talk about it. Yeah. I br could break through her accent. I could make That's out right. a little of what she said. Yeah. So if you guys, we're going to close caption this in post-pro. If, <laughs> if, if you have a hard time getting through the accent, yes. just bear with us, all right? Uh, KJ, how you doing? Welcome to I'm the show. I'm great. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll look for a little a different accent. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, you got a boyfriend? I gotta throw them off. Oh my God. Like in a jail? Okay, I didn't say that. <laughs> hey, where, tell us about you. Your accent was not what I expected when I met you. I was like, holy smokes. My dad was in the military. He was Alabama. Yeah. So he was stationed in Korea, you know, way back in the day. Uh huh. I guess he thought, well, you know, bring back a Korean. She doesn't know English. We can get along great. But no, she's good. So, so your mom's uh, Korean, your dad's soldier. Yes, I mean, he's, he's no longer alive, but um, pure country boy. Got me into all of the Wild West stuff, uh, horses, living on the farm. I, you know, work from a kid up. You know, I know all about responsibility and taking care of things. So I, going from there, he taught me how to shoot guns, carry knives. That's every year, every year for Christmas, I'd get a Red Rider BB gun. All my life. So. Uh, that has stuck forever. So when I got older, I, I utilized the horses, the accent, um, the guns and everything. Traveled on the Wild West show, so we did the gun spinning, the trick roping, the trick horses. Um, I spun on the wheel while my partner threw knives around me, and then I shot balloons out of the air while I was spinning. Wait a minute. Did they really throw knives yes, at you? Yes, absolutely. And how did that go? Did that ever scare you? No, I watched him do that with another girl about 2,000 times before I stepped up on the wheel. Wow. But um, So that's how I ended up with the, we did the knife throwing. We actually threw knives that exploded. They're 45 caliber black powder blanks loaded so when they hit the target, Boom. They'll, they'll explode. We didn't really tell a lot of people so it surprised them. But um, that's, that led into being inducted into the Knife Throwers Hall of Fame. And uh, then just it, it's, it, going from there, I wanted to make knives. Yeah, wait a minute. Do you ever go back to Korea? Have you ever no, been back? I've never been. You're probably like a folk hero back there. Oh, I don't think they know about me. I'm afraid <laughs> if I go somewhere like that, I'll get lost and no one can find me. I the just Korean cowgirl. See, here, here I don't blend in, but I'm afraid I'll go to another country and then I'll just blend in and they won't know how to find me and I can't get back to Alabama. Like Kimmy Oakley. <laughs> Kimmy Oakley. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> so you're in the Knife Throwers Hall of Fame. Yes. And uh, you've uh, made some knives. I make knives. I'm, I'm, I'm on hiatus right now because I've changed some things because before, you know, I partner in, in shops with other people. And I just feel like I want everything on my terms now. Yeah. I'm just getting, I'm in that point in life where. Well, you're a woman. You just said everything on your terms. I'm like, right, what's different? That's right. Lie everything. <laughs> I'm kind of used to that. I'm like, you tote, <laughs> yes, dear. What do you want? <laughs> but, yeah, it's. So the end goal really for me is uh, to grow my knife building into, I want to make folders, high-end folders, that sort of thing. And also I want to make um, jewelry, silversmithing, I'm buying all the stuff and having the equipment and practicing with that and engraving stuff. I want to engrave guns and all of that stuff. So I've got all that gathered because I want to make things that, you know, your kids are going to fight over when you're dead. Stuff that's going to be passed down generations, and that's and live in the woods just by myself. Do you, you, know? do you want to know what the biggest yes. thing they'll fight over is when you're dead? What? <laughs> your money. My accent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> your money. Yeah. Exactly. Make the money. That's right. So, uh, uh, what, what do you? Do you mind if I ask what you're doing professionally right now? Right now, I'm in um, Ohatchee, Alabama. I, I I work at Otter Creek Farmstead and Distillery. And what I wanted, to, I sold the owner a horse about 16 years ago. So I've gone from training these horses all this time to where I, I just want to, I'm like, I want to train dogs professionally and I want to guide hunts. Wait a minute, train dogs? Trade, train dogs. These are gun dogs. All right, so, so you went from training horses to training dogs. I, I wanted to try out the gun dog training and that's what I'm doing now. And I'll be guiding hunts this, this winter through, the, through, through the, the hunting season. All right. So that's, that's what we're doing what now. What kind there. of hunts? They're wing shooting. 
All right. So yeah, quail, absolutely. Pheasant, chucker. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, and you're guiding those hunts? Yes, I will be this what, what would it cost me to go out if, let's say, I want to do a podcast of me shooting birds with you? Oh. What, what would it cost me to put that together? We could do, like, a promotional thing. I could probably just get you in there. But just, just uh, we, we have different packages for folks because we if we have limited, we, we can supply the shotguns. We supply the ammo. We don't nitpick and nickel and dime everyone to death. Cut, but a, I can bring my own shotgun, right? My absolutely. Own am- All right. You could even bring your own dog if you have it trained. I don't have my own dog. But, um... And you know, I could take you out there. We can we can do a hunt. But typically, it's about two thousand bucks a day. Okay. People have flown in from other countries. They we I think we had fourteen private planes fly in last year. Okay. So. Um, where do the where does the private plane fly out into? There, Atala, Alabama. Okay. Or you know, and if, and if you do a, a regular flight, you pick you up in in Birmingham. Wow, sounds fantastic. So, oh, it's, it's a blast. It's a and blast. And then do you guys have a cook on staff who will, like, cook stuff up we for have, you after you kill? We have five-star chefs. So when we have guests, especially throughout hunting season, I don't hang out around everybody. I'm kind of – I'm you, you just see me here and there. That's how, that's how I well, am When's in hunting life. season start? But November 1st. Oh. From November 1st to about the end of uh, March. Oh, that sounds fantastic! Yes, come well, on out there, Bobby. We should go. We should go yes, shoot. You absolutely. know, we're doing that on location. I'm going to go cook at a pizza restaurant in Missouri for one of our customers. Uh, do a little cross promotion thing. We have the the huge wood fire pizza oven. It weighs seventy eight hundred pounds. At your house? At the at the at, at the facility. At the facility. At the at the, at the farmstead. I'm yes. a pizza cooking fool. Oh, we'll get you in there. I want to hey. make pheasant pizza. That is absolutely possible. Pheasant, quail, whatever. We we can we've got that. We've got it. Chucker, chucker yes. pies. Chucker pies. That's hilarious. <laughs> yes, we. Whatever you okay, want. Okay, so you're doing out. guided hunts. You're doing dog animal training. Training the yes, training gun dogs. What kind I've of dogs? Gone, the, these um, English cockers. We have English setters. We have the setters and the pointers, but I'm focused on the English cockers. And you know they're brilliant. These dogs are so brilliant. Cool. Is um, it a voice command? voice we do whistle and so um it's a combination because you know these dogs they get out there this, they live for this so they got the adrenaline pumping and everything but the main thing is is uh we have to watch the hunters more than we do the dogs because right. a lot of people come out there they've never done it before right so we safety is paramount sure so um we take each guide has a can-am buggy we have separate fields we, t- we each guide only takes out three guys or gals at a time so um we got you pretty close and we we have it's pretty controlled and it's gorgeous out there it is it's, well, it's i, got, I gotta to do be. this yes absolutely you have I'm a, to do I'm a, this well what kind of, mostly 12 gauge um 20 and 28 gauge 20 and 28 gauge and we have a uh, shooting dock for the sporting clays it's on the water so you go out, and we have clays coming out from six directions over the water. It is so much fun. I love it. So you know, I I, I kind of collect shotguns. I'm kind of I'm oh, yeah. I'm crazy about sporting clays and getting I'd fitted up to, for guns and all that. I'd hey. have to show you Frank's collection. He's got those really nice engraved guns and stuff. Yeah, so I'd yeah. look at it, you know. But yeah, but even the ones that we we provide for hunters, they're pretty. Well, mostly just over and under, or like kind of traditional yes, two yes, shot guns. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's my thing. That's my wheelhouse. Well, that's this great. sounds hilarious. This oh sounds... my gosh, it's a blast! It's a blast. <laughs> literally. <laughs> you know what? It's like the guys could come in. The rooms are beautiful because we have lodge. We just built another. It's a, it's like a log cabin, four bedrooms, four bathrooms. I think all together. So we'll have about fifteen or sixteen rooms. Everybody, got, everyone has a private bathroom. Um, the five-star chef and everything, so your meals are provided, so it's all inclusive. Sounds sounds pretty cool. It is. Uh, I'd like to come out and shoot like a video about how it works, because you know yes. what's funny is, uh, uh, you know, I've gotten reasonably successful, and I get inundated with the right. safari and the South Dakota shooting this yes. and the shooting in yes. the Carolinas and all that, and I'm kind of like. It's a big jump from like the first time, uh, Bobby. We went and bought some go- bought some silver and precious metal stuff, pr- yeah, silver and gold. Gotcha. But to go do that the first time, it's like the unknown, and you right. kind of to get over that barrier the first time is like right. a. But I'd like to walk somebody through, kind of like, hey, here's how yes, it goes. Yes. We do this. We show up. Here's what they kind of no take problem. in. We go out and show. I, I think it'd be kind of fun. Come and, on out. Yes. Yeah, people would love it. Just tell me when, and we'll we'll set it up. That sounds great. Well, fantastic. Is there anything else you'd like to promote while you're here? I'm, I'm 
Hey, I'm just here to have a good time. Do you have a website? Um, on Facebook and Instagram, I'm Thunder Horse Blades, Thunder Horse KJ. Th uh, KJ Jones. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let's just talk Instagram because uh, okay. I don't have any elderly people who watch my site. <laughs> It'd be Thunder Horse Blades. Thunder Horse Blades. Yes. Um, I do want to do a new thrower. So, Tell me about your thrower. What's it look well, like? Well, I just want to. I want to change. I I came out with the one that I designed for K bar. It's over 15 inches and it's over a pound and it's kind of big. So I'm thinking more universal for ladies and everything, which ladies can throw the bigger one. But I want to make it just a little bit smaller, change the handle up, and um, just try to just 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 change it up just a little bit and just kind of stay in the game. Do you know what steel you want to make it out of? Well. I haven't thought that far into it, but what we did with K-Bar is uh, 1095 Crovan, and uh, it's done pretty good. But um, that's one of the things, I was talking with a, a friend of mine who's also a maker that I collaborate with, and we, we bounce ideas back and forth, so we're still working on, um, we're still talking about that, still talking about it. But, what then, kind of handles it have? Is it just a skeletonized it's just steel gonna handle? It's going to be skeleton, but yep. I'll have holes in it so you can, you can yeah. add what you want, so it's up to you. Well, you should talk to us about maybe making it Absolutely. for you. That's what we do. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, once we get off the air and Bobby's got your contact information, yes, how many sir. do you want to make? As many as you want to make. Well, I mean, we're, who's going to sell them? We all sell them. So I, I promote them. And um, well, I mean, was your deal with K-Bar that they were going to make them they, and put them in their catalog? Them, well, see, well, they have them in the catalog, but also all the distributors, they're on Amazon and everything. Okay. Got it. All right, so you're looking for manufacturing and distribution of your idea. Right. Got it. Okay. But all right, I cool. do a lot of the promoting, so. Okay. Awesome. Well, all right. Fantastic. So uh, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Interesting thanks chatting for with you. <laughs> uh, safe travels. When do you head home? Um, probably tomorrow. Yeah, it's just two hours. Yeah, we're oh, that's nice. We're headed yeah. home tomorrow also. Ours is more than a couple hours. Yeah, absolutely. All right, sports fans, that's the show. Uh, KJ, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. Real Thanks pleasure for having, having me. you in, okay? I it. Uh, you guys, you can find us on, I don't know if you're, wherever you've stumbled across this, awesome. Smash that like button if there's a like button. If there's a hate button, you want to hit that? Go ahead, <laughs> hit the hate button. If, uh, if, if there's a fuck you button on your channel, hit the fuck you button. It's okay. We're going to be on uh, iTunes, Spotify, and Rumble. You can find us there, all of this unedited and uh, un unchoked down by one of these uh, conglomerate megalomaniac uh, technology uh, oligarchs. Uh, you can listen to the whole thing unedited. Uh, that's the Greg Medford Show. Thanks for joining us.